Have you been wondering how to enjoy the best experience when you visit Cordoba in Argentina? Well, here are the seven best things to do in town. Please be sure to stay till the end because we'll reveal a lesser known attraction that many tourists often miss. Number seven, enjoy the nightlife at Maria Maria. It is true that you can get cheap drinks in the center of the city of Cordoba, but then this doesn't always deliver the cool vibes you would want to experience while traveling to Cordoba. If you want that nightlife experience that you would spend days talking about with excitement, there's only one place to get it in heavy doses, and it's the bohemian area of Guemes. Of course, it may not be the cheapest place to get a drink, but you can rest assured that it will be worth it to be in the company of fun individuals who will make it a night to remember. If you're lucky, you will meet some locals who will be willing to show you around just before you go clubbing at Maria Maria. In addition, this is the best place to listen to classic reggaeton all night long. Located near the riverbanks, spending your night in Maria Maria can only be said to be the true definition of nightlife in Argentina. Number 6. Shop at the Night Flea Market Perhaps you would like to feel like a local even if it's just from 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. If that is the case, then dust your bags and head over to the huge outdoor flea market in Guemes. Indeed, this is the perfect place to spend the weekend and enjoy the local Argentine culture. Without a doubt, you are set to have the time of your life at the Paseo de las Artes on a Saturday or Sunday night. The flea market is filled with attractions of all kinds, from antiques to food stalls, with a wide variety of mouth-watering dishes. Also, you shouldn't miss out on the mind-blowing performances from the local performers who always have some tricks that will wow you up your sleeves. Moreover, you do not want to miss out on the meals from any restaurant or food stall lined on the streets as they are sure to send your taste buds on an unforgettable journey of pleasure. Surely there is no better way to spend the weekend in Cordoba, Argentina than a night of absolute delight in Guemes. Number 5. Explore the Evita Fine Arts Museum This particular activity is for people who deeply appreciate the arts, especially if you love classics like Picasso, which have been talked about for centuries. Even those who are not huge fans of the arts can easily fall in love with the more than 500 works of art on display at the Museo Superior de Bellas Artes in Cordoba. It's a great way to spend some time sightseeing and appreciating unique pieces from diverse artists. You can also include a visit to the sculpture garden in your tour. Rest assured that it's even more amazing than it sounds, with several sculptures that will blow your mind away. Of course, there's no shortage of works by Argentinian artists, alongside works by Goya, if that is what you would rather have at the museum. If you want to get the best out of the tour, we recommend spending at least an hour exploring this art museum. What's more, it can get even more amazing with a guide to take you through the history of many items in the place. By the way, if you want to learn how to save money on airfares, then click the link in the description below. This guide teaches you how to always get the cheapest flights. Number 4. Go hiking at La Cumbrecita After exploring some major sites in the city, you don't want to miss out on Las Sierras de Cordoba, which is a hotbed of activities and renowned sites to last you for days. All around Las Sierras de Cordoba are lush green hills that roll out for miles beyond what the eyes can see. Indeed, you will get nothing short of an incredible experience especially when you visit these vast lands after a night at one of the famous clubs in the city. Some areas you can explore at Las Sierras de Cordoba are the Che Guevara Museum and the Jesuit Monastery at Alta Gracia. This place is filled with history, and a guide will be on hand to explain them in detail. You should also not forget to check out the small city of Embalse and Via del Dique before taking a wonderful hike down a mountain path at La Cumbrecita. This will lead you to a waterfall where you can take amazing pictures. You can get to Las Siete de Cordoba through public buses or by renting a car if you want the flexibility of stopping wherever you want for some Instagram pictures. Here's a little extra tip. This area is also a great place to go on a magical horse ride. Number three, take a trip down memory lane at the Memory Museum. The Museo de la Memoria is perfectly named as it is designed to take visitors through centuries of memories. 
But then, not all its stories are happy ones. In fact, the museum tells a painful history that may tug at your emotional heartstrings. Cordoba was a scene that was best known for witch hunts by the military regime from 1976 until late 1983. During these short but painful seven years, there were enough horrors to go around, and locals feared for their lives. Many people spoke up against the military regime, hoping that this would bring an end to the government, but their boldness only brought drastic consequences. During that time, it wasn't strange for people to go missing at night, never to be seen by their loved ones again. This led to crazy rumors flying around, including stories that some were drugged and dropped into the sea from a helicopter. Those few captives whose whereabouts were known were mostly locked up in jail at Plaza San Martin. Of course, this prison was a horrible place. Today, it's a museum filled with investigations of the mysteries of that time. While walking around the museum, you will find letters and photos of missing people who never went back to their families. Number 2. Take a tour of the Iglesia Cappuccinos. There are only a few other places as colorful as Iglesia Cappuccinos at night, and you don't want to miss out on this breathtaking sight. Iglesia Cappuccinos plays host to some elaborate neo-Gothic cathedrals that all complement the Jesuit cathedrals in this historic site. Built from the 1920s to the late 1930s, a tour of this tower will take you through a narrow flight of stairs into the tower with magnificent ceilings. You can tell that the architects of that time went all out, and the results are beautiful. Your tour will also take you through rails flanked by gargoyles, both scary and amazing at the same time. Number 1. Share Mate at Paseo del Buen Pastor Ever heard of mate? Well, this Argentinian drink looks and tastes a lot like tea, but you can tell that it's completely different. Sure, you can order one anywhere and enjoy it privately, but taking this drink is a great way to socialize, and that's where Paseo del Buen Pastor comes in. This is a modern performance and cultural center filled with bars, restaurants, and several outdoor hangout spots, where you can easily make friends with people around. This is especially true if you're traveling alone. So many people gather here to socialize and share a cup of mate, and you might just get to click with someone and start off a beautiful friendship. Surely you can also just sip your delicious drink while enjoying premium entertainment from street performances bursting with energy. Moreover, the environment is beautiful, with a fountain that comes to life with water shooting up to the skies lit up in colored lights for about 10 minutes every hour. Before Paseo del Buen Pastor became a fun hub with a thriving nightlife in 2005, it was once a women's prison, a monastery, and then a chapel. Today, however, it is one of the most colorful places you can visit in Argentina. Click this video over here for more tips while traveling in Argentina.